Hello, thank you for joining me again. This next video is going to be talking about how to open up a drawing template. We're going to do that from the very beginning. I know we're all anxious to kind of dig into, into model space in our big sandbox and uh, try to get started and start drawing some lines, but uh, we're going to open up a drawing template first so we don't have to do it later so that everything's embedded into that drawing template, including everything we're going to draw in model space as well as everything on paper space that's going to be kind of already set up for us. So let's do this. We're going to go to new, and one thing to keep in mind is that your name of your drawing, the drawing file is going to be up here on the top. If you can see my cursor rolling around up there, that says right here, drawing1.dwg. DWG is a, the common file extension for uh, AutoCAD files. You'll see those a lot in a lot of different uh, applications. And by default, uh, when you open up AutoCAD, it's automatically going to open up a drawing1.dwg. The thing about drawing1.dwg is that um, uh, when you open up a new file or uh, open up a, a template file, that uh, that will disappear. It just automatically closes. You don't have to save it. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to the application menu. That's a test question, by the way. You go to the application menu, which is where the big A is up here in the corner, and we're going to scroll down. We're going to click on that, scroll down a little bit, and go to New. We're going to go to New Drawing, and it's going to give us a list of drawings that we can open. These are all template files that are stored on your computer on the C drive in the Autodesk folder that you can open. We want to open up one that's very specific, and yours might be in a different location than mine, but uh, what we want down here is to tutorial-i-arc.dwt. DWT is different from DWG, DWT, the T being a template file. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. You might have trouble finding yours, but it's going to be in some folders on there, and I think you have many more choices in the CAD lab than I have here at home. But again, you're looking for tutorial i dwt so you can double click it here or select it and just go to open. And there we have it. Now you notice that our tabs in the bottom are a little bit different. Our layout tabs in the bottom are different. We still have the model space tab, but now we have D size layout tab. And what that does is it provides us, and it's a little bit uh, looks a little bit different too. It isn't black, but it's white. We have a white black background with a with a dark coloring on top as opposed to model space, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but our, what we have is a template for a title block that we're going to fill in with our own information. So that's our paper space. If we go over here to model, this is our model space. And you notice that the grid is turned off now. It isn't on uh, automatically. If you want to turn it on, you're welcome to do that. Go down to the status bar. That's a test question. But go down to the status bar and you can turn the grid on that way. Personally, I don't like the grid, so I like to keep it off. And uh, along with the grid comes snap settings too, which allow your cursor to reside specifically on certain uh, certain locations on the grid. And those can be modified. In fact, uh, just about everything in AutoCAD can be modified. And there's a lot of stuff here. There are a lot of things to modify. But one thing to keep in mind, I mean, to keep in mind about AutoCAD, excuse the little slip up there, but uh, to keep in mind about AutoCAD is that uh, we're only going to touch the surface of AutoCAD. We're just going to show you just enough to appreciate and to give you the information that uh, will allow you to do very simple and rudimentary uh, drafting in AutoCAD. We're not going to go into a lot more detail than that. If you want to do that, we offer the course IET 160, which goes into a lot more detail about AutoCAD. But just with our course, start with AutoCAD, two weeks in AutoCAD, show you the basics, give you the opportunity to get started with AutoCAD, and then we're going to finish up with Revit Architecture, which is a lot more uh, powerful for what we're going to be doing with this class. So. That's enough for this video. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Uh, please join me for video number three coming right up.